Hi, I'm Werner. I am a developer at the Coitec. You asked how to synchronize debug output with power consumption. Let's go through some steps. The device under test today is a Sony cell phone and we're using the Oti Arc to power it instead of the internal battery. We set up the supply to 4.3 volts and the maximum of 5 amps of current. A phone like this will occasionally consume large amount of current when active, so we definitely need an external DC adapter to be connected to the ARC for this. We've also connected the serial debug port from the phone to the Oti ARC RX pin, so we'll activate the logging as well at 115 kilobits. We make sure that the digital voltage level for the UART is 1.8 volts. Uh, we start the recording power the phone on and we can see that we're getting debug messages from the bootloader on the UART. So we can now simply select uh, debug messages and have the corresponding part of the current measurements highlighted. Or we can select uh, a range in the current view and get the corresponding uh, debug messages highlighted. Uh, in this device, the debug logging actually ends with the bootloader. Nothing is output from Android. We can overcome this with our premium feature where we can import logs after the fact, collected by the device itself or another external mm -hmm. system. Uh, we will grab the ADB log when the device has uh, started up. Connecting USB. We stop the recording. Import log. And now the first ADB log entry will be placed at time zero. We can see that the time of the first one is 1357.06 and the recording starts at uh, 1356.36 so uh, we are at uh, 30 seconds of uh, offset so we need to add the offset here And this is the start of the uh, debug log. And now we can do the same thing here. We can add, select the uh, range and have the corresponding part of the uh, current measurements shown as well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. For discussion on energy optimization, please visit our forum at coitech.com. We'd love to hear from you.